Welcome to my channel, everyone. I'm glad to have you with me today for a truly unique review here. I've never read a book like this before. I just picked it off the shelf at the library kind of randomly. The title caught me here. It's by theoretical physicist Clifford V. Johnson, and it's titled The Dialogues, Conversations About the Nature of the Universe. I picked this at random, and I didn't realize it when I plucked it off the shelf. But it's a graphic novel, a comic book, if you will. But don't go just yet if you're not into comic books, because I'll tell you that I don't think I've ever read one before. Maybe, I, I, you know, I don't know if I have or not, but I really enjoyed this one. I didn't think that a comic book could be deep enough to interest me, but this one was. This one, the format here takes place over 11 different conversations that people are having. You can see here, that two people are talking here about different scientific subjects. And I said it was deep, but it's not so deep as to be confusing. It's almost kind of written in a way to inspire people to go further into the different subjects that are being discussed amongst the characters here in this book. Themes here, galaxies, curiosity, multiverse, astronomy, cosmology, philosophy, black holes, nature, history. So it's really neat that all of these different scientific kinds of subjects are being conversed about amongst these different characters. And the, and the, um, the illustrations are actually really good. I, I'm assuming that the author didn't um, draw these. Actually, he didn't. Well, maybe he did. There's not a, an illustrator's name on the cover. Uh, but that's beside the point here. I found this to be especially intriguing because such deep subjects are discussed here in this book in a way that isn't confusing particularly, and it really inspires you to want to go further into these subjects. After each section, the author lists some recommended works to go further and more in depth with the different subject matters uh, pertaining to each conversation. So that was great. While I was reading this book, I was stopping, getting my phone out, going to Goodreads, uh, putting in a bunch of books in my to want to be read section, and then I'd read some more, and then I'd stop and go and mark some more. So it was really awesome. I learned quite a bit from this book. I didn't think I would because it was a comic book, uh, but it was definitely worth the read here. I'm going to say that the reason that I'm reviewing this uh, is because, although it's a comic kind of book, it actually took a few hours to get through it. So there is quite a lot of words in this book. It might not look like it right away. I want to show you here a section where he's recommending some things. In between chapters, it looks something like this. So it took a while to get through this book. It's more than just a casual glance to get through this book. And it's really cool. I loved it. From the first conversation, I was actually hooked on this, and I knew that I was going to finish it. I'm going to give this book... I'm going to give it three stars out of five, and I don't want that to deter you from reading it. I do think it's worth reading. I will say that a couple of the conversations uh, were a little bit confusing, and I think the reason for that was that he tried to cover some material that really needed more pages to be covered. He was trying to cover some things in a couple of the conversations only that maybe had he been able to go more in depth with the word count, it would have been more clear. And that's only with a couple of them. It's really simple. So the majority of the conversations in this are really easy to follow. They're super interesting. And maybe you won't be confused where I was confused. I'm not sure why that happened, but it did. And even so, I will say that it wasn't terribly confusing. A couple of conversations that were, I'm not entirely sure um, about the specifics that were being talked about. Uh, that being said, I'll say that this would be a great book for a young person, although it's written for adults, I'm assuming. It would be a great book to try to maybe inspire a young person to go into the scientific field. Uh, it's, it's totally awesome in that way that it's inspiring you to read further into the subjects and the, the recommended reading lists in this one are really great. I, I marked a bunch of them. I've already got some here at the house, especially the recommendation on the black hole section. Loved how this went into black holes, folks. 
So I'm going to give this one a three-star review. Even so, I'm recommending reading it. And it's not a lengthy read. You know, this isn't a huge commitment. You could read this easily in a day, or even in an evening, if you wanted to. The Dialogues by Clifford V. Johnson. I'm giving it three stars, and I'm actually going to recommend this one.